in order to create windows 10 bootable pen drive you need to first uh, go to the microsoft website and download windows 10 so type windows 10 download and open the first link which is microsoft official website open this site and there and come out here and click download tool now and once it's downloaded and after downloading is finished create media creation tool and double click it here and once it's started and click accept the license agreement and then now next screen is appear make sure to choose create installation media because we are going to use a usb flash drive to create our bootable pen drive click next and language you want to select it's already predefined english united states windows 10 64 bit use recommended option for this pc and click next make sure to select a usb flash drive it, it needs to be at least 8 GB click next and here our pen drive click next and after completing this process our pen drive will be bootable successfully and make sure go to your bio setting and choose the first option to your pen drive now the our installation process is started and I will leave it default uh, and if you want to change it, it's depending on your situation and you can choose your language and the second option time and currency you want to choose I will leave it English United States and the keyboard layout uh, input method I will leave it default and click next and click install now at this time i don't have any product key so i will click on the i don't have a product key option the operating system you want to choose here i am going to choose uh, windows 10 professional and click next now the next window is popped up is uh, windows license agreement uh, if you want to reach this license agreement you can read this and click on the accept the license term and click next and here you want to choose you can upgrade your operating system and or you can install a fresh operating system so i will choose a custom install window only advanced mode so i will choose custom mode and here click new and it will ask you what the number of amount of space you want to apply on the c drive it's a depending on your situation what you want to apply i am going to just 50 gb is enough for me and click apply click ok and the remaining space you can create another drives and now i will choose my 48.3 gb click next and now our windows installation process is started and you can see i will fast forward my video and getting file is ready installation feature is ready and now our windows is restarted and services is starting it's uh, configuring different type of features and here you can choose which region you are belonging i will go with uh, united states and the keyboard type you want to choose i will choose us by default and if you have any second keyboard layout i don't have any second keyboard layout so i will skip this step 
and now if it will take some time and now because I am using this PC for my personal use so I will choose setup for my personal use and here Microsoft asking me sign in with Microsoft account so I don't have any Microsoft account yet so I will choose here you can see offline account and click offline account and the next option sign it with Microsoft instead so I will choose no I don't want to sign in at this point I will configure it later and here you can put your PC name whatever you like and I will choose I am type my name yes and click next and I don't want to use any password for my personal use so I will leave it blank and click next and here is the some account option do more across devices with activity history I don't want to any activity history tracked by the Microsoft so I will choose no and get help from your digital assistant it's actually Microsoft asking about the Cortana Cortana is actually very nice feature this is added by Windows 10 when the Windows 10 is comes out and I will choose accept because I want to use Cortana and here is the some important steps you want to configure it later but I will say you configure it here right now I don't want to choose online speech recognition options find my device you can choose yes also or I don't want ink typing I don't want any edit size ID and I don't want to share my location with Microsoft any diagnostic data for my application I don't want to send it so I will choose off and tolerate experience off and click next and now our operating system is getting started right now and now you can see our windows installation process actually completed successfully and now look at the new glossy feature which is added windows 10 1903 which is very nice after successfully started you can see the new look of windows 10 which is added 1903 updates and and here is the corner you can see the pre this is the preview version of the newest windows 10 and if you want to know what the new features is actually added in the windows 10 you can check this out I will put link in the description and stay tuned